welcome back to the channel and not a typical kind of video it is a super bittersweet moment recording this we are actually in the process of selling the rv and these were some of our last homeschool memories in the rv so i figured it would be fun to bring you guys along as well first things first i do not always wake up at 6 30 in the morning i try to wake up before the kids because it just seems that the day goes smoother when i wake up before the kids but that doesn't always happen every day is different every day looks different usually the kids will come greet me in the morning but i do try to get some type of devotion in before you know the chaos of the day comes and here is kid number one um he's always comes up there to snuggle and he tells me his dreams his stories and it's always interesting but snuggles in the morning are like my favorite thing ever now joseph happened to be working this day um but on the days that he is home that he has off which is four out of the seven days which is amazing he's home to help and um just teach the other things that maybe i'm not able to teach as well <laughs> um so this is our typical morning I don't know if your kids are like my kids, but the first thing that they ask for in the morning is snacks. And so if we don't start our morning with food, our day just doesn't go as well. I will share all of the homeschool books and curriculum that I'm using in just a little bit, but I wanted to just bring you along on what a typical morning looks like for us. So right now I'm just making the kids breakfast, um, bagels and fruit and their vitamins and yes they are watching TV I give them about 30 minutes um, sometimes in the morning right now they're watching bluey but sometimes we'll watch circle time on YouTube we love Miss Monica on YouTube JJ is a little bit too old for it now he kind of like has it all down but Jeremiah does enjoy watching it you'll see in a minute that JJ is just waking up but like I said earlier, the boys most of the time will come meet me in bed and snuggle for a little bit before we all wake up. But it is nice getting up before the kids and that's my goal most days, um, but nobody is perfect, right? So JJ is just now waking up and they always want hugs and snuggles in the morning, which I don't mind at all. Next, I will then make myself a cup of coffee. This electric kettle and French press are my favorite things to make coffee these days. Um, I have the kettle linked below. But I also wanna take a second to say, no matter how you school your children, whether that's public school, homeschool, it all looks different. And that's one of the reasons why I was hesitant to film something like this. Um, but I just hope it encourages you to just see real life so after the kids have eaten breakfast and I have made my coffee, it's reading time and we have a basket that way the kids know exactly where it is, where to grab it, and it's just full of current library books, books we own, books we're using for different unit studies and things like that and they'll just get them out, set them down. Um, we try to do read alouds in the morning, sometimes it's chaos, sometimes they'll sit and read it. Um, we like to start with a devotion in the morning and, um, and then they can just listen and look at other books while I'm reading. After we read, I try to get whatever workbook things that need to be done, done. Um, it's not every day that we do workbooks, but this is typically what it looks like. Sometimes it's at the table, sometimes it's on the couch, sometimes it's outside. It really just depends, but I try to get this done with the boys before um, I start school with Sophia. And while they're finishing up, Sophia will start getting ready for school, make the bed, and um, like I mentioned earlier, so this is our homeschool cart, and it fits pretty much everything that we need. Um, I keep all of the books that we use most often at the top. I have just crayons, pencils, glue, scissors, things that we grab a lot. Our books that we read most often are on this shelf and then down here is kind of a mess but it's just our unit study and then extra letters and things. This is gather round homeschool that I use for Sophia and that I think I'm going to use for everybody next year. I just really enjoy it. It is so simple and you can literally just open it up and go. It covers every subject besides math um, and 
it is just laid out so beautifully. I really, really enjoyed it. And then for math, we are using teaching textbooks for Sophia. Um, for JJ, he's using master books, but as they get older, math gets harder. So um, she has started using teaching textbooks and it has been a game changer. Highly, highly recommend. We're also doing a um, end of the year book report. This is a file folder book report. I just found it on Teachers Pay Teachers. I'll leave that down below as well. And then this is the unit study that we're currently doing from The Good and the Beautiful. You guys, their unit studies are amazing. Um, I just love them. They are so beautiful. I love how they are laid out, how involved they are. So on this particular day, we were actually heading to the library. A lot of homeschool actually doesn't take place at home. Um, so we headed to the library, we had a dance party in the car, and, um, and then when we get home, it's pretty much whatever they want to do, whether it's play outside, um, I will get some work done, and um, Sophia will draw. She loves to draw, and we actually, when we stopped at Home Depot this day, they gave us these little birdhouses, and so I helped them put together these birdhouses while we were outside, and it ended up working like perfectly. Um, and we just kind of hang out for the rest of the day and enjoy being outside. They are obviously brother and sister, so they like to mess around <laughs> and mess with each other. Since we stayed at this RV resort for the better part of a year, coming down and spending time at this river just became a part of our everyday. And I will just cherish the memories that we have down here. Um, the boys loved coming down here and finding these little baby trout. Sophia would come and sit outside and draw. And I just want to say thank you so much for being here and just watching our journey and know that it is not perfect. And whether you homeschool or not, you are doing enough. You are loved. And I also just wish all the moms a happy Mother's Day. And thank you so, so much for watching. Again, all of the links and things that I mentioned will be down below. Bye, guys.